my fellow humans, welcome back to another Daily Dice, where we ask the dice for a message and find out what that is. These are general readings, so take what resonates and leave what does not. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe below. If you're interested in supporting the channel further, all the links you need will be down in the description box. You can email me for a personal reading, and I will return further information from there. You can follow me on over to my po my podcast on Scatify on Spotify <laughs> at Scatter Love Tarot, and you can also join as a member. And when you click the link, it will show you the levels I have available as well as the perks that come with each level. So I do hope to see you on memberships. If not, thank you for your continued support here. So let's go ahead and hop to it. Uh, for some reason, I had to start this video over, and I almost just did, but. I have a lot of um, where I'm feeling like I can't talk and it's only been on this video so something's been making you stutter I was gonna ask about career and finances that was the topic coming in today and so something about your career and finances is making you stutter it's making you worry like you don't know what to say or like you're not gonna know what to say so let's find out some more about that so source what is the message that you have for us in regards to career and finances for my fellow humans what is this energy that's coming through what messages do you have for us source what would you like us to know in regards to career and finances so it feels like you've been making a change like that's the thing that's coming in here yeah I see what okay thank you source like you've been making a change something you change like whether that's the way that you are choosing to show up to work you had a position that you changed you got a new job or you're making a different decision in your business there's some sort of change that's coming here and it's making you feel uneasy because it's new right change is not meant to be comfortable if change were comfortable everybody would do it like and that's just not the way that it is it's not set up that way and I wish I could say why it's just the, that's the realm that we live in this is something that we have to get used to it doesn't mean we can't get used to change but no matter how accustomed you are to change there's still always gonna be that discomfort that comes with it and so right now it does feel like you are changing the way that that you are approaching something Okay, with the 11th house here, this could be something online, you could be IT, you could be a scientist, you could be an inventor, you could just be someone that's a very creative individual and the way that you're approaching whatever it is that you spend your time and energy and effort towards or where you make your money at, you're making a change, right? This is connected with Uranus and also Aquarius energy, which talks about a massive change in our lives, right? But we also have this energy here with Jupiter and Libra. It's talking about balancing this out, like balancing out what you once were doing. So maybe you were really struggling when you were showing up to work or you were really struggling in an old position. It just wasn't really serving you or you recognized that where you were going with your business just wasn't making you feel good or even students, you know, like if you're a student, like maybe you were taking courses and you were doing one major and all of a sudden you're like, you know what? This is just not for me, and so you're choosing to change your major, right? But whatever it is that you're doing, you're changing something, and they're showing here that you are going to get huge recognition from it, even if it does take time. Like, this might take a while to come through, but there is going to be a lot of abundance and growth here, and you are going to know what to do when to do it you know you have a lot of air energy starting the dice reading here and it is talking about your ability to speak clearly here things are going to balance out for you. you're going to find a state of harmony and flow and no longer fall for the superficial or you know the temptations what's really coming in for me here it's like being tempted by ideas or maneuvers or choices that seemingly get you further ahead in the short term, term, in the short term, yeah, exactly. See, I'm, I'm struggling here. In the short term, but do not help you for the long term. You're making a change now that will be impactful for you for months, years, and decades to come. So this is something that's going to be lasting for the long term. This is not just a quick fix. This is like, oh my gosh, you had a gaping wound in your business or in the way that you were showing up and 
you're actually stitching it closed by the change that you're making, and that's such a weird analogy that they would have me use, but we're just gonna go with it. So what else would you like to say here, Source? Thank you. They want one more. What else would you like to say here, Source? Okay, thank you. All right, and then we have on the bottom, yeah, Neptune, dream and transcend. This is gonna bring you closer to your dreams, your desires. Equally so, this is going to suss out <laughs> any illusions, right? This is helping you let go of any illusions. You know, sometimes we'll chase something because it looks good, right? Like, like we'll be like, oh, yeah, I totally want that in my life. It looks good. It smells good. It must taste good, right? But then the minute that you taste it, you realize it's really sour and gross. Like, I don't want that in my life. But it's the same thing. Look, I cannot make this up. We have slow and steady wins the race with turtle spirit here. So this is something that is going to be slow. Like you're going to go after this and it's going to be slow. Okay, don't expect this to be a quick bang out the gate. I'm winning all of a sudden. Like what was happening before? Like there's a reason that you're being redirected here. And this is getting you closer to your dreams. What just flew out of the deck when I was trying to straighten it up was cow spirit. The miracles are endless. I'm going to leave it out because it's seriously like I was trying to straighten out the deck and it just like flopped out. It was like, woo, like that. Like this. Okay, so let's get some career and finances on it. Source, what else? Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> oh, I cannot make this up. Okay, let me get one more before I introduce these cards. They flipped over, so I know what they are. Let's get one more here, Source. That's the one you want. All right, this one did not flip over. Those two did. Let's on the bottom. Expression. You're learning how to re-express yourself, coming into this place of understanding that this is more aligned with what you wanted than anything else, right? And that's good, even though it's scary, right? Even though those changes are incredibly scary. Okay, so you're getting these. They want that one on those like that. Okay. And on the bottom here, we have spirituality. Okay, so this could be you becoming a healer or changing the way that you're going. Like I said, it feels like you're changing direction. You could be even making a huge change from like the business world to the spiritual world, right? So take it as it resonates. But that's just that clarification that I was getting earlier. There's definitely a huge change underfoot here for you. So let's take a look at the ones that flipped over. We have reflection right? So there's been a lot of reflection and fast changes. So you're making fast changes, okay? The things that you're, do, you're doing are bringing in changes. These are fast changes. Suddenly, okay, I don't like the direction that I'm going in. Let me change the way that I'm going. Let me change what it is that I'm doing. And in doing so, it's because of this reflection card. It's because you've reflected on what it is that you were doing in your life, what it is that was going on. Is this the direction I really want? And making that decision that this isn't really what's serving my best interest, right? Yeah, this is something that was intuitively guided, you were guided to, right? So spirituality, emotion, intuition, and compassion with water, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces energy here. So this is something you were intuitively guided to, something that you were asked to do by your guides. Look, House 9, I cannot make this up. We have Jupiter energy, Sagittarius energy, once again with spiritual growth. This is a part of your growth. This is something that you're destined to do. You were already destined to do this on your journey before it happened. So what do we have here? Independence. This is helping you come back to your independence. Regaining strength and structure for yourself. Okay? Laborer. Yeah, you've been working hard. Okay? And your hard work will be paid off. Like, you will reap the rewards of your hard work. It might not be tomorrow, it might not be next week, it might not be today or next year or whatever, but you going slow and steady will always ensure you have something stable and that's secure for you to stand upon. Okay, we have mechanic. Mend what needs mending. It might be broken, but not all is lost. That's what I'm saying here. Like When you make this change, it's really scary because it's going to look like nothing is happening. And they're saying, just keep going down the road. Okay, just keep going. Because you're fixing 
where you were out of alignment. You're realigning with your dreams, with your hopes, with your wishes. And there is spiritual growth happening. And it has to change within you first before it can change in the outside realm. And then we have helper. Okay. This is think before you offer help. Set healthy time boundaries. Okay. Make sure your goals are yours and not someone else's. That's what it says on the bottom here. Exactly. So this is just restructuring the way you're going about your career, about your finances. You are in the process of asking, is this me? Is this what I want? Is this what I desire? Is this what my dreams were always? You know, and knowing that sometimes we have to go the long way around to come back to being aligned with our journey and that there's nothing wrong with that at all. That actually sometimes those detours will bring us so much experience and so much understanding of why we started in the first place, right? It realigns us with that inner why and saying like, okay, I know what I don't want. So let me just go towards what I do want and see what happens then. And this is absolutely beautiful. I'm actually really excited for you here. Okay. So if you feel like this is your reading, leave a little turtle emoji down below and say, even though I'm making fast changes, I know that the long race is won by a steady pace. Leave me a thumbs up. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there and get on out of here. I do want to take a quick second, though, to thank your guides, your spirit messengers, your angel source, and my guides for coming together to give us this amazing message. And until next time, stay human. Bye.